Hi guys, um, it's Ayin Kolebe once again and today I will be explaining how to model laptop. So actually this uh, is a time lapse and I'm doing the voiceover now so you forgive me if I'm making a mistake or doing anything stupid. And um, concerning the modeling, it's been a very long time that I've modeled this um, laptop. So if I'm taking some steps that you think it's not cool, so it's probably because I was just starting up that time so um let's get on to business so actually what's uh, how i started this i just model i made a cube and i was extruding intruding and the like so to have the shape of the base um um laptop so that uh adding hedges would make me um shape it and extrude and intrude to any way i want to uh, intrude it to or extrude so so that is the extent of adding um all these edge loops and uh this place is where I want to make the um, headset port and the microphone port. So I uh, actually just added edges and um, selected the face and extruded out. So here I made a mistake. So I had to just uh, delete the faces and um, like feel. Um, I've forgotten the, the um, tool that I used. I think it's a feel or uh, appending tool. Yeah. The precise appending to so I just appended to I deleted some pieces and appended back like filling holes. It works like filling holes. So that is what I did here. I pressed it for um smooth preview, but it wasn't cool. So I had to add um edge loops to it so that I could have a very good um shape. So that is it. And these are the um faces I was talking about the um headset and the microphone um ports. That I was talking about so i just added edges to, to it so that it will have a very nice um, curve um that is it so i just selected the face and intrude it inside so that i could have the um, face like of that um stuff that i want to make so that is it and here i was having issue with it so i had to just add a lot of edges actually modeling is about adding edges removing edges so that without adding edges you won't be able to like sculpt what you really want to make so that is what uh i understood then and it's made everything easy for me to model stuff so a uh, hardened hedges is a very big magic stuff that you need to know how to use very well so that you it will be very easy for you to model a lot of things so if you know the um the work um the work um the perspective of the edges adding hedges or the um, application of edges on modeling yes you get it a lot you'll be able to model a lot of things easily so that is the extent of adding edges to this base mesh so um here i selected i want to make the track part uh, so i had to select faces by adding edges so that i could select faces you know adding edges will just create a barrier or the boundary to a particular face so um, that is exactly what I did here. I um, added edges and selected face so I could have that part and the sensor uh, place where I could um, direct my cursor on my laptop. So that is what I'm making. And now is the base that I need to make. The first one, uh, let me say the screen of the laptop. And here I selected the um, vertex vertexes and I had to press. Um, v just to snap to the edge so i'll have the same shape or the same um corner with the base and um, with the screen so that is what i'm doing right here so here i'm just raising up changing the vertex point of that screen so that when i rotate or try to open my laptop it will rotate about that axis where i keep the um vertex point so the vertex point actually it's um when uh, you change your vertex point anything you do on um your objects maybe rotating or um, scaling or translating it will do all those tools all the all those commands about or around that particular vertex point and that is exactly what i was trying to achieve there why i changed the vertex point and here you know it's not possible to for a screen to just rotate on its own it has to have kind of a, a point that um, the screen will rotate about so that is what i'm making U using the reference of the laptop i was using then though i am not with the laptop now but what i was using then was a, a, a hp laptop and that is how it was made so uh, this guy that i'm making right here is just to create a um where i will actually keep my vertex point so that when i rotate the screen 
um, of the monitor of the PC, I'll be able to rotate about that um, axis where I'm making the vertex point, and that is what I'm doing, trying to rotate alongside with the screen that I have already. So here is it. So um, the next thing actually is just to duplicate and move it to the other side, and that is what I'm doing right now. So select the button and just move it up. Now we can open the screen, uh, probably not. So I'm trying to hard edges so that I will be able to smooth the um, screen very well. So even though without going to this normal smooth, I can use smooth preview. Actually, I'm just um, trying to like avoid um, using ex using excess of my memory. So I'm trying to like use um, a smooth preview, and in that case, I need to add a lot of edges, even though without going to the smooth on that mesh. I need to just add edges so that. When I press my 3D, um, the 3 on my keyboard, I will have the smooth preview and it will appear as if I'm using a smooth um, mesh. So that is it. We need to avoid actually talking about this. Um, my, um, my, um, my the, the type of system that I'm using, it's not a very big day system. So I need to like avoid using excess polyface or I need polycount so that I won't exhaust my um, RAM. So and when you access your RAM, you just keep um, struggling to model and the system will keep hanging. That is what I was avoiding. So now I'm trying to create the screen itself and you know you have to use a texture. And before you can do that, create a screen with a boundary. You know, you can't create screen all over uh, the uh, mesh. You just need to select, um, add edges and just use it to create a barrier. And that is what I'm doing right here. So. I'm creating um, hedges, I'm hiding hedges and I'm going to for vertex um, mode so that I can just edit the guys, I mean the edges. So here I'm moving the boats to the center and I'll use R to split them and you have equal spaces uh, in between. So that is what I'm doing. Now I need to raise this guy up and select the faces and intrude it in so that I can have the face that I want that would depict the screen itself, you know, this display. Um, uh, area where you can see what your stuff that you're doing on your PC and that is what I'm doing. Mm. So um, Let me scale him. I, I had it um, Hedges and scale that guy in so that I can have that smooth. You know, I'm really con I'm concerned about the smoothness of the modeling that I'm making so I need to make it smooth even without using the normal smooth and here it's like um, those rubbers that you always have at the top and probably at the bottom of the screen of your PC that when you close it won't crash the screen that rubber those rubbers will prevent the screen from um, touching the keyboard and that is uh, my mission here I need to make such rubbers to like the bit the real life um, PC and that is exactly what I'm doing right here so I need to duplicate because it can't be just one I need to duplicate to like four up and four at the bottom of the screen and that is what I'm doing so probably um,